What is up everyone, Barricade here, and I'm bringing you guys my review of Dragon Ball Super Episode 4. Okay, overall this episode was kind of simpler than the other ones. It didn't really have too much of anything really going on. Honestly, it was kind of one of my least favorite episodes so far, because even though it did have a lot of good funny scenes, like with Pilaf and stuff, it overall was pretty much just simple. It kind of felt more like filler than anything, and you know... It just overall was kind of just low. Um, so overall, the episode, you know, is just about, you know, Bulma's party and, you know, her, uh, you know, being mad about Vegeta not coming. And then they show a scene of Chi-Chi getting mad about Goku not coming. And then we see, like, Beerus traveling on the way to King Kai's planet. And then we see, like, other few little uh, simpler funny scenes regarding her party, uh, Bulma's party. Uh, like Bulma wanting to win the prizes really bad and Trunks showing off the prizes. And one thing they did change that was kind of different that they did change a lot was in Battle of Gods, they uh, show the scene, you know, peel off going to Bulma's house. You know, obviously it was different because it was at her house and not on a boat. But the one thing that I, I noticed they changed was I think in the movie, he just found the Dragon Balls with the radar because, you know, the signal was always there. Whereas in the, you know, the episode, they had a thing on the Dragon Balls that pretty much prevented the signal. And the only reason why he even saw the Dragon Balls was because Trunks let the signal, like the um, thing that was preventing the signal coming out, he like lowered the barrier and it opened up the thing showing the Dragon Balls and giving the signal to um, Pilaf's radar and that's why he even you know found out about the Dragon Ball so I thought that was kind of interesting that they changed that and actually the whole scene with Pilaf personally I thought it was actually pretty funny I don't know that was probably like the highlight of the episode to me it was just like seeing them going through a bunch of horrible things them trying to you know make it to the big ship on the little boat that wasn't even working and then being chased by the shark which I personally thought was cool because it was kind of reminiscent of Dragon Ball if you remember in Dragon Ball, um, during Goku and Krillin's training with Master Roshi, he actually makes them get chased by sharks to increase their strength and speed while swimming in the water. And it kind of like reminded me of that because it almost looked kind of like the same, like almost like the same type of like panel. Like if you go to the, the manga itself, when you see them being chased, the panel is very similar to... Um, you know, like the way they're being chased by the shark to, you know, way Goku and Krillin were. So I thought, it was, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, you know, and then we see them get to the ship and you just figure out, you know, how they got there. And overall, the episode just kind of, you know, shows more of Goku training and it shows him like shoot the Kamehameha and block it. Kind of similar like the way he did in the movie. And then we see, you know, the house fall over and King Kai gets mad or sad or whatever. That was pretty funny. And then, uh, you know, the scene with Vegeta training and he's basically like yelling at the poor secretary because Bulma wants him to go to the party and the poor lady has to tell Vegeta. And, you know, just simple scenes like that. Overall, the episode was pretty slow and it ended with um, Beerus showing up. So we're going to get to the fight finally where Goku takes on Beerus on King Kai's planet. But so far, honestly, this was kind of like personally like one of my least favorite episodes because it felt even more slow than the other ones because at least in the other episodes even though they were kind of boring and slow they did have some content regarding you know Beerus and interesting facts and even like a little bit of fights as well whereas this episode was just kind of more like just talking and just funny scenes with Pilaf so I really am excited for the next episode because we get to see the fight between Goku and Beerus and I know a lot of people are probably thinking well what's going to be the difference between this and you know the movie version and there's going to be various changes because I've actually read the manga chapter already and there is quite a bit different differences in dialogue and the way the fight itself goes. I think Goku actually fights him as a Super Saiyan longer. He doesn't just go straight to Super Saiyan 3. So the fight is a little bit dragged on. We get to see Goku struggle a little more against Beerus and it just has different dialogue and overall the fight is pretty much different than the movie itself. It's more extended, more content is in it. And I can't wait to see the episode version because so far it seems like, you know, the differences between the manga and the episodes themselves is they add more stuff to it. So if the fight itself already has more content, I'm pretty sure the episode will probably have even more so. So overall, the next episode will be a lot better. We'll probably get more interesting stuff about Beerus and we get to see it leading up to the other parts of Battle of Gods, which is actually going to be pretty cool. I wonder how they're going to do like Vegeta's um, anger scene, you know, like when he and Beerus hits Bulma. And, like I just really looking forward to that to see the differences in between the episodes themselves and the movie. So, you know, at least we're kind of getting close to getting over the whole boring episodes, at least for now. 
But yeah, that's pretty much my review overall. This episode, like I said already, was kind of boring. Not really what I really hoped for a Dragon Ball Super episode. But I am excited for the next episode, so I really cannot wait. But anyways, guys, if you guys liked this video, please definitely hit that like button, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think about these episodes so far, especially this one. Um, I know it kind of seemed like I might have been bashing on it, and I'm not hating on Dragon Ball Super. I love Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, but I can't wait for the action. I am starting to get a little annoyed with just the dialogue-based episodes. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and take it easy.